Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back again to one question a day. The question that we are going to discuss is development of pulp. In this questions, the key points will be the role of dental papilla, the formation of dental pulp, description of cells in dental papilla, how they may how the mesenchymal cells differentiates into fibroblasts and other pulp components, the embryological origin, initiation of development of dental pulp during embryogenesis, formation of pulp organ after differentiation of odontoblast and ameloblast, and the establishment of capillaries and nerve fibers. The diagrams and clinical consideration. Growth factors produced for innovation of pulp during development. So in the in eighth peak of intrauterine life, the condensation of ectomies and chymal cells under the enamel organ turns itself into the dental papilla. And this dental papilla is the core that gives rise to the dental pulp. During odontogenesis, when the dentin is produced around, around by the dental papilla, it is surrounded by the newly formed dentin, by the odontoblast and the organizing influence of the uh, ameloblast or inner enamel epithelium by reciprocal induction. So, when the water dentin is being formed, it is surrounded by, or rather dental papilla is surrounded by the newly formed dentin. As it progresses, they continue to remain. So it is essentially dental papilla that forms into the pulp. Okay, the innermost cells of the dental papilla turns into the pulp. Dental pulp can be coronal pulp or radicular pulp. Coronal pulp in the crown region, radicular pulp in the cervical line to the crowd apex. They both consist of three layers, the odontoblast cells, cell-free zone, a cellular zone, cell-rich zone are the five made up of undifferentiated mesenchymal cells of the fibroblast of the uh, dental papilla producing fibroblast and the pulp zone contains mature fibrous tissues which are nothing but the secretion of the fibroblast. The composition of pulp is made up of mucopolysaccharides, proteins, proteoglycans, and glycosaminoglycans. The cellular components include the fibroblast or the fibrocytes, the defense cells, the neutrophils, basophils, and the eosinophils. The fibers in the pulp are predominantly type 1 and type 2 collagen fibers. The extracellular components include the ground substance, glycosaminoglycans, chondritin A and B sulfates, proteoglycans. The cell dental uh, density of dental papilla is great for proliferation of cells and dependent upon the age. The young dental papilla is highly vascularized and organized into a network of capillaries. And the capillaries grows among the odontoblast during the dentinogenesis. The cells that are undifferentiated mesenchymes appears to be stellate reticulum cells. Under the organizing influence, turns the ordinary enamel organ to differentiate to, and thereby stimulate the dentin productions. The axons of the nerves interspread forms sites of odontogenesis. 11th week of intrauterine line, the whole process starts. 12th week, the dental papilla organizes. 24th weeks, it reaches to the sub six regions. And a few large myelinated nerves in pulp reaches odontoblast exerts along the pulpal hole. During development, a factor called as neurotropic factors is involved in the growth of pulp. Venous and arterials, arterials arteries and arterial walls, thin wall do not branch in radicular part, but highly as a high capillary nerve pressures. The veins and manuals in the pulp are thin walled. The nerve supply is predominantly through the plexus of Rashko, which contains myelinated nerves, but lose their myelin sheath to form this plexus. They follow the course of the blood vessels. When inflamed, clinical significance, when inflamed, pulp causes pulpitis, inflammation of the pulp. Hyperplasia, under certain conditions, they can proliferate due to high growth factors to produce pulp polyp. So that brings to the end of the discussion on the development of pulp. Stay connected with this channel for one more question and another day. Happy learning.